Wow. Lisa Klink had a vision. It has everything. Refrigerator, oven, electric, microwave, dishwasher. And so the 66-year-old grandmother single-handedly designed a mini home sweet home. Should I turn on the light? There we go. Lisa says she built her ADU out of pandemic-driven necessity. The likable divorcee tells it like it is. I stopped working and my ex lost his job. That means I lost my alimony. Her ADU is 400 square feet. She's asking $2,000 a month. It's a little bit crazy, but you know, <laughs> it's a little bit crazy, but I tried to make it really nice. <laughs> But consider it includes water, electricity, even cable and patio space with a garden. And she's already had dozens of offers. One guy even offering $2,500 a month. I just put it on next door. And I, after three days, shut it off. But I had like 65. From the inside, Lisa's ADU looks fabulous. Hardwood floors, brand new appliances, a small outdoor patio. But there's an interesting twist. Let me show you what it looks like from the outside. She built her ADU inside her garage. It takes up half the garage and extends into a back room she's given up. That's a significant point because this ADU is unobtrusive. You'd never know it was here. But as cities across the county loosen restrictions to make it easier to build ADUs, neighborhood groups like one near the college area are outraged. They say ADU designs are out of control. They're destroying single family neighborhoods being built without proper infrastructure. I had people that wanted to pick my brains, that loved my design. Who's your interior designer? Who's your contractor? We want his name, you know people that wanted to, to know the process. Her strongest advice, find a contractor you can trust and be ready for construction. The hardest thing is that you have to go through construction. You know, I had to seal off part of my house because if you make it an ADU, you have to firewall it. And that means you have to take down both sides of your drywall and put bigger, you know, fat or drywall. The most intimidating part perhaps, permits and inspections. I was nervous at first, but then I was, um, sweet as can be to the guy coming. <laughs> In the end, Lisa says the project cost her $60,000. She hopes to get that back in two and a half years. Well, I'm happy, you know. I haven't had somebody live here yet, so I'll let you know. <laughs> Ask me a year from now, you know.